Hello, my name is Martin Endick. I'm the Executive Vice President of the Brookings Institution in Washington, D.C. Uh, and I've spent my life, 35 years or so of it, trying to make peace in the Middle East. I wanted to send a very special greeting to all of you who are participating in this Yala conference with its uh, one million uh, users milestone. Uh, I think it's really a great achievement for Yala and a great achievement for all of you that you come together uh, in this way, forming an online community that ignores the borders of conflict that have uh, created so much bloodshed and war over so many decades uh, in the Middle East. Uh, you are a new generation growing up at a time of deep conflict and instability. When you look around you, some of you in the countries and, and cities and towns and villages in which you live, um, there is horrendous conflict uh, going on. And it is a testimony to your idealism and your courage that you are all prepared to try to find a way out of the conflict and that you are prepared to submerge your national identities in a broader identity as citizens of the world who share something very important in common, a basic humanity, a basic human decency, a respect for each other uh, and the importance of the dignity of mankind, womankind. It's that respect which is the underpinning of a resolution of all of these conflicts, respect of the other, recognizing what we have in common rather than what separates us. And just knowing that there are a million of you out there sharing that common uh, sense across the borders of the Middle East, uh, uniting uh, Arabs, whether they're Sunnis, Shias, Christians, Muslims, Jews from Israel and its neighboring Palestinian territories. All of you, if you are able to come together in this common cause to elevate your common humanity and do your best to, through, through communication with each other, strengthen each other so that you can together press your leaders to show the courage of a Sadat or a Rabin or a King Hussein or a Yasser Arafat to reach across these borders of conflict and finally bring peace to this very troubled region. So I congratulate you, I encourage you, I hope that you will provide an example to your elders of what the youth can do in these circumstances and what the youth demand of their leaders to provide a better world and a better Middle East region for themselves and for their families.